Hello humans of the world. My name is Arthur, and this is, The Wonderful World of QA. QA, is believed to have been in existence as early as 3000 BC, with the ancient game of Pocketok, a brutal game that never quite got all of its bugs removed, because, as was tradition, testers were sacrificed to the gods, as well as the captain of the losing team. If we cross the Atlantic, we find QA testers slugging it out in gladiator battles in the year 264 BC. Testers debugged everything from fighting techniques, to unique ways of dying. Several centuries later, in the year 1066, in medieval Europe, testers were finding ways to crash the game of jousting. Oftentimes, these crashes led to unorganized bloody battles. Unfortunately, a few centuries later, the world's so-called greatest games became quite dull. Testers became unmotivated due to the lack of excitement, and promptly died. Poor little Ralph Bayer was unfortunate enough to grow up in a world full of such mediocrity. As he aged, he realized that the reason for the lack of excitement in games, was directly related to the rise of, morals. With his invention, Pong, he planted the seed of a virtual world full of terribly gruesome possibilities. Before the world and its morals could catch on to Ralph's master plan, friends were killing each other, in the comfort of their own home. As video games advanced, quality assurance testers started to rise from the dead. Every kid, and 30-year-old living in his or her mother's basement, wanted a job to do what they loved most. Playing video games. The shocking reality is that these testers do not get to play games at all. They get to test, one game. One should never confuse the two. Your average tester will live at work, in a cramped space, fueled by all of the free caffeine they can consume. Testers stare at the same game all day every day until their eyes bleed out. When a tester has lost his or her vision completely, they are quickly replaced by an eager gamer, lining up outside the door, waiting to ruin his or her life for the next several months. These hard-working testers are also generally hated by everyone. Take a look at little Timmy here. Timmy's boss hates him because he thinks Tim doesn't work hard enough. The programmers at Timmy's work hate him because he works too hard. Gamers, although never meeting Timmy, will hate him as well because they will blame all of QA for not finding the bugs that the programmers chose not to fix. And Timmy and his fellow testers all hate each other, because none of them have taken a shower for weeks. Quality assurance has been a part of some of the greatest games in the world's history. Testers have slaved away to please you the gamer, for months, leaving humanity behind. These testers emerge from the scum of the game industry, beaten, torn, hated, and, eventually, 